We've literally just launched the COVID symptom tracker app in Sweden. And what we need now is for everybody to go to the App Store or Google Play and download the app and start using it immediately. And we need lots and lots of people in Sweden to do that to make this a success. It's an app that you can download through the App Store and Google Play. And once you've got the app on your phone, it takes a few minutes to set it up with some information about who you are as an individual. And then on a daily basis, we just ask that you go in and spend about a minute every day updating the app for any new signs, symptoms and risk factors that you might have accumulated across the next day. So really importantly, what we're not doing is collecting information about you as an individual that will be used in any kind of research or passed on to uh, other organisations or researchers. So when you enter your information into the app, you are asked to enter your email address, but that email address is safely and securely stored. I think many of us understand that the world is in a crisis at the moment. In Sweden, we've adopted a strategy that very much requires people to follow the guidelines of the government. But in the absence of understanding how well that's working by having measurements of COVID-19 within the population, it's very, very difficult for the public health agencies to guide their strategy. So what you as an individual will get out of this is to participate in a social effort to try to fight COVID-19, to help each other and help yourselves to prevent the, the burden of the disease impacting us as hard as it will do uh, if we're unable to control it properly.